Yo, what's going on guys, Max here, hopefully you're all having a fantastic day so far, and welcome back to another episode of Quantum Break. This is going to be episode 6 in another live action uh, TV show, whatever you want to call it. If you missed the last episode or the last couple episodes, as always, there will be a link to the playlist of all the episodes in the description below, and then there will also be an annotation on the screen right now to take you to the previous episode. But anyways, let's hop right into Junction 3, Amaral or Hatch. So I guess that's going to be our decision this episode. The description for it says, with his authority challenged, Dr. Amaral gone, and the fracture getting worse serene has to decide who he wants to trust and so we're going to be playing as paul serene again and we're going to have to decide who we want to trust i guess this story is getting really interesting i'm loving it this thing growing inside me you're pregnant oh, God, i've been fighting it everything. for six hard years that's the dice looking thing. Dr. Amaral was developing a cure for the Cronon syndrome. She was the only one who could administer the treatments that kept my sickness at bay. Paul? Now she's gone. And Jack had taken her away from me. So that sickness. Oh shit. How the fuck did this happen, Morton? How is it possible they managed to take her? Paul, is your illness talking? I'm on your side. Easy, you're... They took her. Without Sophia, there's no chance of a cure. We did all we could. But there are forces within Monarch working against you, and I believe Burke was just the tip of the iceberg. It wasn't just Joyce that did this. Uh, sir? Uh, we've recovered Dr. Amaral's laptop. We have it set up over there if you want to take a look. I'll be right there. Damn. So I guess Paul Serene, he's he's getting really sick, and Sophia Amaral, the scientist that we took in the last episode, she's the only one that knew about this cure or was working on a cure for him to cure this illness that he has, which is making him become some kind of hostile creature like we saw the doctor in the live-action episode, uh, episode four, I think it was. Paul's getting pretty fucked. I want to go over Sophia's figures. If she's right, the fracture is escalating a lot faster than we anticipated. You know the future. Dr. Amro doesn't. Is the lifeboat even in a viable state for activation? She's trying to convince you the schedule's wrong. Why? To get you to rush this? To make a mistake? But we're in love. The people opposing you. She could be one of them. She isn't. Are you willing to bet the entire plan on that? I implore you, hold off on activation, Paul. Let me clean house before this gets completely out of hand. How do you want to proceed? All right, we're going to look at the laptop. Somebody now. was working against me. Somebody close. Martin Hatch. Sophia Amaral. I could only trust one of them. I'm pretty sure we're gonna go with Amaral, but obviously we're gonna look at the two decisions here in death. So let's look at Amaral first. I want him apprehended. Immediately. So I have some information about Martin Hatch. Martin had been my closest advisor for years. I began to wonder if that had been a mistake. Sophia's loyal. She's always been loyal. I don't think we can trust her. The way she looked at the countermeasure like she's seen it before. She knows what it does. Sophia's research had saved my life. Loyalty doesn't run any deeper. And now we'll see what happens if we choose Hatch. All right, Amaral. Let's go fix the time machine. I said I'll try. Evidence was mounting against Sophia. I couldn't simply ignore it. Despite everything we had been through. But she knew you'd never make it without those treatments. And then she took them away. If she turned against me with what she knew, the damage could be immeasurable. 
Well, with what Hatch said to Sophia in the last live-action episode, if you remember, he, like, hovered over her, and I was freaking out because he's like, do I look threatened? He's a, he's a scary motherfucker. He looks like he's just pure evil, honestly. So I think we're gonna go with Amaral and take Hatch away. Um, we'll see what the community picked after that, the percentage or whatever, so I think we're gonna have to go with Amaral and take Hatch away. Sophia's date has always been good. I'll trust her judgment. We need to analyze these figures and make final preparations to activate the lifeboat protocol at once. Fine. I'll take the laptop to the science department. No, you No, won't. I think I'll do that myself. I see. Damn. Sir? Put people on Mr. Hatch. I want constant eyes on him. Yes, sir. You got it. We pulled some images from the security cameras. We've identified Joyce's accomplice. She's Beth Wilder, one of our mid-level operatives. Her. My God, she's been with us all along. She's working with Jack. Where is she now? Unknown. But we've got a kill team tracking her. No, 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 no. She can't be killed. Not yet. Find her. And whatever Mr. Hatch does, I want to know about it. Don't screw this up. There's something with Beth that no one knows, not even her, because if you remember when we Beth first discovered Wilder. the pool... It was the first time I'd heard her name. But she had been there in the past. Yeah. She's and probably going to do something with the time machine. Working against me from the inside. And she wasn't the only one. Alright, so Junction 3 Amaral, we chose to have Serene trust. Blah, blah, blah. blah. So 63%. Alright, so most of the community agreed with our decision, which is good, I guess. It's still like a 50 50. All the decisions really, I mean, that's not 50 50, obviously. Uh, on every decision we've made in the series so far, I'm pretty sure it's been over 50% on all of them. But like the last two have been really close to about a 50 50. So I don't know, that's weird. All right, but now it is time to kick back, relax, and watch this TV show. The treatments, they're losing their effectiveness. There's no changing the inevitable. Time is just one closed loop. And no matter what I do, time ends. I still don't understand how that happened. <laughs> Guy's a I fucking ninja. There's something in there that I need. The lifeboat protocol. What is it that you're so threatened by, Martin? Do I look threatened to you? Evil. This is Dr. Amaral's report. Every Stutters, villain. They're, they're increasing in frequency. What is loves that? lemons. Is, is, life form. Extremely is lemons. It's Dr. Kim. That's what Paul's gonna turn into if he doesn't get that treatment. Then he ran away. Deception. I was gonna say, why are you taking that off? If another stutter hits, you're dead. I still want to know what's going on with his eyes. I don't understand that yet. So this is after we made our decision, I'm pretty sure. I'm trying to figure out what the timeline is here. Yeah, this is after. Hatch. And after the events of last episode. And what did Burke want with it? 
I don't know. I don't even know what the lifeboat protocol is. It's a sanctuary designed to shelter a list of monarchs' essential personnel to weather the storm until they can develop a solution. Essential personnel? So that means that I'd be on that list, right? Not under Paul Serene's lead, you wouldn't. He's trying to get him to He's turn against. He's failed to see the value in his own people. Too consumed with grand ideals and delusions. You know what I find to be the most terrifying notion of this planet? The idea of God. Simply the idea. A being with that much power. The ability to take and give so freely. That kind of control. But should be feared, not worshipped. Yet, people believe in it. Just as people believe in Paul Serene. You see, what's so scary about God isn't his control, but rather, if he ever lost it, Paul Serene's become unhinged, Charlie. He's triggered a catastrophe. He has the chance to fix it, but he's choosing not to. He's choosing to let things end. In the time. And this is where we come in. We risk too much leaving the keys to the kingdom in one man's hands. We need insurance. There's something called the CFR. It's a crucial key to our survival and must remain safe. But as long as Paul is the only one with access to it, it isn't. With access to the CFR, I would take over. Get Monarch back on track, and once I do, Evil. restructuring would be in order, Charlie. Restructuring that would see you as my right hand. I'd be on the list. Absolutely. <laughs> That's all he cares about. Then I need to go back to Monarch. And that sort of privilege isolation it can only be done from the inside. Uh oh. Don't we have eyes on Martin though? Doesn't Paul? That's good. <laughs> I put the island on lockdown, but the pump house on the west side has an old supply tunnel that runs beneath the bay. No one knows about it. You'll go and see. Alan Wake Easter egg. Look at that book in the background. It says Alan Wake on it. Time is of the essence, Charlie. That's a cool little Easter egg they put in the episode. <laughs> the little book above the fireplace says Alan Wake. Commander Davis. Yes, sir. Head to the perimeter lab. We're moving forward. The frequency of the stutters is still unpredictable, but they're persistent. Erratic, but persistent. I need certainty. If I initiate the protocol, there's no going back. Mr. Serene, something like this. There is no certainty. We've never dealt with it before. How long? We've been running Dr. Amaral's simulations. It's hard to say without her to confirm, but... Just give me a time. The Joyceville could collapse within eight hours. <sighs> Mr. Serene, if you're going to proceed, now would be the time to decide. <laughs> Yep. Yona. Hey, bud. Where you going? You're right. 
Time's ending, just like you said. And the lifeboat protocol, it's a place. They built it to protect people from the fracture. And the only problem is, is, is there's a list and anyone who's not on it is, is pretty much fucked. But if we make it back to the mainland, then I, I can get us on the list. All of this entire island is on lockdown. How are we gonna do that, Charlie? There's a tunnel. Hey, all right, if you are lying to me this time, I swear to God. No, get off! I'm tired of shit. I don't know why you're doing this. But I don't have to put your name on shit, motherfucker. <laughs> What'd you do to him? He's fine. I'm gonna tell you why you're gonna put me on that list. I got a pregnant wife at home. And she's the only thing that I am thinking about right now. So if you get in the way of me protecting her, I swear to fucking God, next time, you will not catch your breath. Lead the way. Oh, that's not creepy at all. Cheater. Good evening, Dr. Amaral. They're gonna blow her office? We're five minutes out, Mr. Hatch. The soldiers are working for him? So... I don't think the soldiers are staying loyal to Paul. I think they're gonna work with... Hatch here. And this is that the guy that went crazy or whatever the doctor I've come to free you my friend this imprisonment it's unsettling it's time for you to rejoin the others to return to the infinite Guys don't look at explosions, they just walk away. Three months. Congratulations. Well, <laughs> they're fucked. What is he? If you're gonna do something, do it. He's taking his sweet little time. What the fuck is that? We're under the bay. Oh, is it gonna be the scientist or whatever? Or water? Or yeah, it's gonna be water. I thought the scientist was gonna start chasing them. It's 
very anticlimactic. Climatic. My English is not good. Can't English. You do okay? Yeah. Yeah, hey, yeah. I'm good. We need to get. Get on the fucking ground! Hey, ground! No, 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 we're with Monarch! What don't you understand? Hey, no, get on the ground! Hey, hey, no, no, no. Hey, I'm the one that called it in. I'm Hatch's guy. One guy. Yeah. Where's she? She's chronon scientist. She's important. We have to get her back to Monarch right away. Please. Get the fuck out of here. Now! Yeah. What? Gibson. I got for her. Fiona! 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 You gotta listen! Hey! Oh ah. shit! You killed him! Fuck! Hey! I didn't know that they were gonna kill him. What was I supposed to do? Huh? You let me on and then you kidnapped me. This isn't me. about you, Charlie! Are you stealing this car? Just get the fuck out of here. No, you're gonna need me. I got what I needed out of you. Yeah, I'm getting used to it. Why don't you open your eyes? The world is about to end. I'm trying to do something. Yeah, you're a real hero. Fuck you. Roasted. The things I do from love. A nurse, huh? I'll see you there. Burke. You fuck. <sighs> you know, I'm really gonna enjoy killing your wife. Burke is not the biggest fucking badass. Holy shit. Commander Davis. Shit's game. Davis and his team. They're all good men. Monarch's fun. He's blaming the explosion on the site or on those guys that were in the room. Paul, oh. 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 what about my treatments? I'm afraid so. All of you his know treatments what this went. means. You don't know for sure. I'm a danger! You let this happen! Jack. He wants me to become evil. He wants me to suffer! Until the end. Joyce and Wilder. But what was troubling me is who got them in the Kim's lab. Oh, so he's blaming it on Joyce. And now he's gonna blame... She paid a visit. While she was thought to be missing. Minutes before the explosion. Paul. Paul, what? Paul, will you listen to me? Look, it's time you see her for who she really is. This was a parting gift. They forced her. She's trying to destroy you, She's Paul. trying to help me. Oh, Jesus, but... Look at you. The smartest man I know. Blinded by a fool's love. I 
If we would have chose the other decision, you would have sided with Patch. She's gotten inside your head. She's always been loyal. You need to think about if this. If the fracture's happening now, I owe this to her. or whatever, kicking everyone out that isn't on the list. Or they're grabbing the people that are on the list. What the hell is it? The protocol's been initiated. I need to wake my family. Yeah, they're grabbing I'm afraid the we haven't time. Do they have no cameras in that base? I don't understand why Paul couldn't have just checked the cameras to see who really exploded the area. I was just telling your girl here how concerned about you we've been. Emily, we need to go. Go? What's the rush? Emily, let's go. Why is no one else helping? <laughs> like, I guess they don't know what the hell is going on. But you'd think that officer would butt in. I never felt good doing this. But it's the only thing I knew how to do. 
And when I got back, I couldn't, I couldn't find anything. I couldn't find anything to do. And Monarch, they found that useful, and they put me to work. And I swear to God, I couldn't, I couldn't stand, I couldn't stand being alone. It's, so every Tuesdays and Wednesdays, I would, I would walk down the street because it was the only two nights at the bartender. And she wasn't at school. And I told myself every night to ask you what. It took me a fucking year. And I'm like, if Mama, if they gave me structure, you gave me purpose. I did this to protect you. I did this to protect You have to listen to me. Something terrible is coming. And I will explain to you on the way, but we have to move. We have to move right now. If you will just let me, if you will just let me protect you on my side. is 10 out of 10. Give this man an Oscar. Check the cameras if there are it. Oh, sh that's the future though. Yeah, it's Beers. I'm at the perimeter lab. So I have some information about Martin Hatch. I want him apprehended. Immediately. Damn. <laughs> That was, they, the episodes just keep getting more and more intense. That was crazy. So right there at the end, Paul learned the truth about Martin Hatch, that he blew up the lab, and that was the only thing that could have saved Paul, because all of his treatment and medication was in there to make sure that he didn't become what that scientist did in that lab, the one that was behind the door with the little window. Pretty intense episode, though. I'm absolutely in love with this series. Like, it just keeps getting more and more intense. We're getting pretty close to the end. I have no idea how many acts or episodes are in this game, but I think we've only got about two more episodes. I think that there's four total. In the next couple episodes, we're going to finish up the series, and I'm really excited to see how this all ends. Hopefully, you guys are as well. Definitely make sure to leave a thumbs up on the video if you're enjoying this series. I am absolutely in love with it, like I said. Make sure to leave a comment down below letting me know what you guys think of the whole thing. I'd love to hear from you guys, and I'd love to interact with you guys about this series. But thank you guys so much for watching, and until next time, this has been Max. Peace.